Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix online meeting 115. Technically speaking, two weeks ago, within 115, but that one got bumped. So here we are a few days before American Thanksgiving, if that's the thing you do. And uh, we're going to be talking about Wix a little bit. Mostly just going through the bugs, making this a short meeting, um, trying to get through the month of November because I don't know why, but I think the month of December will be better for life. I've been sick and everybody else in my family has been sick, which has made life extremely challenging to stay on top of deadlines. Anyway, that's enough about my personal life. For those of you that aren't here with us right now, you're able to watch this video because we recorded it. So the rest of you that are here right now, this is being recorded. The agenda. Uh, we're going to triage. We'll do any questions, comments people have this week, and then we're going to roll on uh, for uh, December. So, Rolling on. I know Bob's about audio, uh, but we're going to try to go to the web and see if Bob can't take notes while Sean and I talk our way through all of this. Um, we have this ancient bug to start with down here. Um, bug calling, causing XML data overwrite, still intermittent. This guy hasn't found it. Hasn't happened to him in a while, it says, after reducing all of his content things. I don't know what we do with a bug that's not happening much anymore. Do we say, thank you, if you get a better repro, please let us know, otherwise we're going to make this bug go away? Yeah. Keep open for a later report. Oh, we can leave it open, and but we can tag it. That means it will fall off our radar. Um, I guess we tag it with Votive and let it hang out and see if anybody ever comes up with a good answer to it. All right. Bob. Yeah, let's do that. Things. All right, cool. That way it doesn't look like we're giving up on it, but we're kind of giving up on it until something better shows up. Um, burn does not elevate from uninstall the programs and features. And I noticed Bob had left a comment saying, that's right, because somehow UAC does it for you, even though UAC, sorry, ARP does it for you. <laughs> and ARP does it, and I'm not ever really quite exactly sure how ARP elevated without telling anybody. It seemed like a magic secret door being part of Windows. Um, but anyway, uh, that's true. That's what it does. Don't know exactly what they did to make it work. So I think we could just make that bug disappear as not a bug. Value containing Wix variables used before being resolved. So that's always possible because there's ordering the things. Um, and that seems to suggest that create payload row, row is being handled before the resolve. I don't know, we have to look, not, uh, not in compiler. Um, in the binder? Or are we actually doing path get file? Oh, I see. We're doing path get file name inside the compiler. That's usually not going to work. Yeah, this seems like a bug. Candle. Should we put it in four to not mess with any breaking changes, potential ability, possibility? is probably the word I wanted. I have a feeling this one repro in four, because we Wouldn't made all those changes. To do this better? Yeah, because we completely redid this, right? Uh, we did, well, I don't know in the compiler. The compiler didn't change tons. And if this is really trying to get, see, it looks like this is trying to get the file name in the compiler. Uh, mm hmm. Well, it should handle a bind time variable, Bob. I mean, this should this should work. I think there's something in the compiler that's saying, hey, oh, let's get the following. Basically, here's what's happening. Um, the MSI package uh, and all of the other payload-related things, you know, and XE package and all those other ones, too, the source file processing should match the source file processing on the file element, which is actually fairly complicated when you look at all the different ways it can happen. And the bind ones don't. Um, I think someone else wrote it that wasn't truly familiar with all the other things and we didn't quite get it right in code review. So I think this just needs to be made more like the file source file, which has lots of different options to make it work correctly. Bob's over here writing a book, so I'm kind of waiting to see what he says. So th that my guess is that we need to just kind of look at source file processing on the MSI package and XE package and payload and all those and make them more robust yeah, so I mean, basically we should do what we do for file, source file. Now the question is, do we do this in three? That's my, 
That's my remaining question. Or does this go for? Anybody? No opinions? Mm. <laughs> does yeah. that mean it's four? <laughs> it means it goes in four because we still want to mess with three? I guess I'd like to say the fix first. <laughs> well, then, well, I mean, it's putting it 3x, but chances are it's going to get lost, but would we take it if it changed behavior? Uh, a simple check would be okay. Yeah. I don't know if it's worth it to do it in 3 and just put the fix in 4 and call it good. Yeah. All right. So, are people voting to put it in three, then, with a warning about hand or about dodging this or whatever? Is that where we're leaning? I think John already voted meh. So, or do we just want to put it in four? All right. Sounds like three X for the warning, and we'll should just revisit this in four for the correct fix. Okay. All right. Moving on. Add support for detect. So this, Heath says, is going to turn into a whip at some point. Um, and all that for VS15, which would be great because we need to add support for Wix to Dev15, um, Visual Studio 15, <laughs> a.k.a. Visual Studio 2017. I don't know. It's so confusing. Um, anyway, uh, so, uh, yeah, this we're still waiting to see this happen. So I think we... Do we we have to yeah we'll take this in three duh because that's what we want um, so yeah I say we take this because and wait for him to produce the the document the document that will tie to this issue yep three of them uh, it's the whip to start dashes should be allowed in directory okay he got confused. Yeah, because directory must be a reference to an actual directory. All right, cool. So that's not a bug. Native bootstrapper payload folder isn't added to load library search path. That might be true. So in the clean room, but I thought, oh, but it, wait, 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 wait. No, okay, let me think here. The payloads I folder. I didn't really understand this one either. Well, I think this happens on oh on Windows 7 should be on any Windows version. Um, yeah, the payloads folder. I think he means the BA DLL folder. Um, and if you don't explicitly load your files, then you're trying to do the implicit load. And the BA folder is not the clean room folder, so we could probably in clean room add the um, the payload folder. That would probably be safe. But we don't even load the BA in the clean room. Mm. Yeah, that's the one that loads the BA. Clean room is the one that loads the VA. Okay, but so we're not locking. But we're not locking down the directories. So yeah, but but we still do set default DLL directories, right? In clean room. I didn't know. We bypassed all that. Yeah, that's right. We bypassed all that because clean room because that messed with .NET framework. Yeah, WinForms. Windform, sorry. No, to be specific, yes. Or GDI plus to be specific, specific. <laughs> um, right. And then, so you're on this thread. Did you say that? Yeah, in the process it loads the BA. I don't think he understood what you were saying. I, um... I 
I basically, I think this issue has always been here, even before the clean room. I see. Yeah, because we don't make the BA payloads a directory. Path folders and system folders, right. Yeah, we've never really supported this scenario then. It wouldn't have worked because, yeah, we don't put the engine in there. All right. Well, let's leave it open and burn and see what the fix looks like um, and see if we can make sense of that. Uh, he might have a point here, and it's just that I've never had to do this with the BA. I mean, like, he already sent a pull request. Oh, did he? Okay. Yeah. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Let me just take a quick peek at that and see if I can do that. So it's relying on those new APIs that weren't even available before, like, 2012 or whatever it was. Uh, we can't do this. And we definitely don't want to be doing that. Oh, I don't. What? Um, you don't need the load libel kernel 32 because you're not going to be running without it, but unless he needs the module handle. No, he needs the module handle. Um, well, this is not the place, this is not the way to add it in the middle of all this. And this actually fixed his problem, huh? Oh, but he's calling set default DL load directories in here now. He's calling it so he can add the directory. Oh, add the, yeah, the special bit, right? Yeah. All right. Well, apparently we need to look at this one more. Um, I'm not going to get to this soon. We need to understand this better. Yeah, basically it basically comes down to whether we want the engine to be doing that or not. Well, I don't... Can a BA do it? I guess the BA could do it, but it can't because it has dependencies on these things. So that's the question: is Do you want to be able to load? Do you want to be able to load implicitly bound dependencies from the payload folder? How have we not had this problem already? Are we just writing BAs that are self-contained because we write custom actions that way, and we just don't we don't notice because we don't write BAs that have huge dependencies on things like you know uh, what is this QT? Um, I guess everyone uses .NET, which probably looks in the running directory anyway. Uh, well, it'll load things, yeah, next to it. It'll load assemblies next to it. Hmm. So this is adding, hmm. All right. We'll have to look at this more. Um, I don't know when. It's not going to be soon, though. I don't know. What to, how do we put this bug so we should look at it again? <laughs> <laughs> Normally, we just don't add a label, right? Yeah, no, I mean, sorry. I don't want to look at it every week. Um, I want to look at the code. I guess put it in 3.11. Well, if we put it in 3.11, we'll review the 3.11 bugs to get rid of them. I think that's probably the time frame that I would have time to get back to this, is to basically look at it again in the 3.11 time frame and then put it in its right place from there once understood, once it is understood. All right, let's put this in 3.11 just to be able to find it, put it in burn, and no, we just need to review this. I just... This is naturally very sensitive code. I don't like the way he implemented the change. I can kind of understand what he's doing, but not exactly clear how we want to, if how we want to solve that. All right. So 3.11 for that one, and we'll, we, 
we will revisit it. I will revisit it for sure. Cool, Bob? He's getting his sunglasses on. Be cool, Bob. All right. Um, I think, yeah. So there's a log file about burn not finding 3.5. Going through all this. And then, oh yeah, this ended up as a, he tried to get this from NuGet or something, and it was like, yeah, that's not going to work. And we didn't get any more information about how he got into the situation. The reg keys were there. Is there anything else about this, Sean? No. I mean, when I see something like this, I just think antivirus or something. <laughs> we don't have many more people talking about this. Yeah, right. I mean, if this is a problem, it would be happening a lot more. I mean, it's just a basic registry search that's failing. Yeah. Failing with the reg keys being there is just kind of not sure what we're doing there. Well, and we're not, it's not failing, there's no keys. Um... What do we do with this bug? It's kind of like that other one where do we want they're to having a problem them? and we can't reproduce it. <laughs> I'm open to thoughts. Leave it open, put it in 3x, and see if someone gives more data about it. Yeah, we can do that. All right, I guess that's what we'll do. Not getting any other thoughts on how to handle these. These these weird one-off bugs is things that we're not seeing elsewhere. Um, <laughs> this is a typo, probably. Did he send a pull request? No. Okay. He was asking about this. But yeah, that's a mistake. So this can go in candle. This could be fixed in 3.11 since it'll be a typo kind of thing. Do dash SS until SD vitals gone. SFD is vital gone. <coughs> um, so, yeah. Simple fix. All right. Cool. So, that should make all those bugs go away. We'll just toss that 311, and if nobody else gets to it, I'll get to it eventually. A couple of mop up bugs to do. All right. Well, that wasn't too bad for missing a week and all that. Other things people want to talk about right now before you get, I don't know how many of you have a day left of work or this is your last day of work. I'm actually flying tomorrow, so today's my last day of running around trying to get as much done as possible. Um, so anything else? Not a problem with a short meeting for a short week. John's typing something. It's going to be big. Um... Oh, all right. Only project reference not working well. Interesting. All right, then. Well, we'll have to see. Working 3x XSD for a Wix project. All right, cool. Well, pull request away, and I guess you could always add project reference later, too, if you want. Um... All right, all right, cool. Anything else? Anybody else got anything going on? No? Going, going. Sean, you're all quiet over there? No. You're, just waiting. you're just waiting to say goodbye, huh? Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, on that note then, uh, we'll see you in two weeks, which will put us in December, which will be hopefully better. Life should get a little less compressed for me, um, which will be awesome. And be a little bit, we'll... Roll on to then. So until then, if you're doing this, enjoy your turkey or whatever else you're doing. Even if you're not American, say thanks for all the people around you because they're awesome. At least that's what I try to do. And until two weeks from now, I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.